Hello, my name is Samantha and this is an intermediate writing class. Hello. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to write a cover letter. Um, I'll be explaining what a cover letter is, um, how to write one in English, and why it's important. So, um, you can join right away if you are a premium member. I'm just going to give you a few links here. So you can get reservations for classes at verbling.com slash get reservations. Um, some ways that you can get reservations are liking the Facebook page, um, inviting your friends to take classes on Verbling with you. Um, yeah, so you can get reservations that way. There's also a video that you can watch for one reservation. Or you can become a premium member. So it's $25 um, a month. And with that, you can join as many classes as you want. You can reserve a seat in um, as many classes as you want, so you'll always make sure you have a seat in class. So um, I've also given you my Verbling and my Facebook link, so you can follow me there. If you're on YouTube watching, uh, go to verbling.com to join class. And for everyone else, you can join as soon as the button is green. You can come on in. So it should be green for you guys in just about a minute. Um, and again, this is an intermediate class, so all levels are welcome to join, but um, I will be speaking about this speed throughout class. So you can always tell me if um, you don't understand if I'm speaking too quickly. Um, and Magachi, if this is your first class, you might want to join a beginner class instead. I'm teaching two beginner classes after this one. Okay, so yeah, you can come hang out with me as soon as the button's green. Again, we'll be talking about um, how to write a cover letter. What is a cover letter and how do you write one? Hi, Firkin. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, thanks. How was your weekend? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> hmm. Does that mean you were partying? No, I don't <laughs> like parties. <laughs> I'm not a party person. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. Hi, Jean-Marc. I, I, I have découvert a really good recognition uh, program. Oh, 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 oh. It's very good because Ovo is a similar of Facebook, but he was a uh, uh, YouTube. Oh. I, I, I will give links. It's very important for you and me. It's uh, very, very important because uh, in, in, in Facebook, for chatting, it's very complicated. Oh yeah, I don't I don't check Facebook that often. No, no, no. no for, for me, for me, it's very important because my eyes. Is a small. It is very small, but it is over. It's very, it's very good for touching. Hi everyone. Hey Maria. Gustavo. Hello. Um, sure. Just to warm up, I'd like you guys to tell me your name, where you're from, and have you ever written? a cover letter or a letter of motivation before? In your language or in English? Um, what is the letter of motivation? The same thing. Um, do you know what a cover letter is? Nope. Does anyone know what a cover letter is? Ye yes, it's a, a letter for you for you want to a uh, job. Mm -hmm. And you write down for motivation the employer to give it to you a job. Yeah, exactly. So you want to motivate the employer, <laughs> but basically you write um, a specific letter for each job that you're applying for, whereas for your resume, sometimes it's just one standard resume, you print out ten copies and, and hand one copy to each place. The letter is like um, complementary to your resume, so you would write it um, specifically for each job, so dear, you know, Mr. Firkin, and then you would explain. Um, why they should hire you. 
No, you don't really want to just be flattering them. Like you're the best boss ever. Like I, I've heard that this is the most amazing company in the entire world, and I can't wait. It's not really like that. You're more kind of trying to sell yourself a little bit more, even more so than your resume. Um, a lot of it is kind of a formality, so it's not completely necessary. But it does look really good for you to hand in a cover letter. You are bragging yourself, not your Pardon? boss. You are bragging up yourself. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So, Eric, have you ever written a cover letter before? Can you tell us where you're from? I'm from Dominica, and I'm the first time in your class, teacher. Yeah, it's nice to I, meet you. I am from the the land from the sun and sun. Lucky. <laughs> I'm from the land of snow. <laughs> oh, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> So, have you ever written a cover letter before for a job? Yes, a um, few, uh, ma many times. And do you think it's a pretty important um, thing to include with your resume? Yes, if you want to give the, or you give to you an uh, uh, interview, you need to 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 write down a good cover letter. Yeah, it shows that you're give, putting in a little bit of extra effort, and some places won't even call you for a resume um, for an interview if you haven't given them a letter. Oh, okay. usually a good idea. <laughs> yes. Even if it's just an email, like an email form, that's fine okay. if you're applying on. Um, okay. Cool. And Gustavo? Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, my name is Gustavo. I'm from Venezuela. Uh, I, this is my second class with you. The first one was about movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and about the cover letter, I know what is a cover letter. But here in Venezuela is something that is not used. It's, it's not common to use. Where is that? Venezuela. Okay, so it's not as common in Venezuela. No, no. Uh, in fact, uh, I think no one, no one, use it. I think I am thinking about. It. Yeah, I was curious about the different places how common it is because Firkin, you seem to have never even heard of it, right? Cover letters. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, so I guess it depends on your country. In North America, it's very popular. Um, it In Australia, kind of looks, I mean. it kind of looks lazy sometimes if you apply for a job without a cover letter. Actually, in North America, so you want to show them that you'll put in the extra little bit of effort. John Mark, have you ever written a cover letter? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, I am John Mark. I'm from uh, France in three weeks now. I'm going to London. You must be getting excited. You're going to London pretty soon. Yes. I, I am here for now, my English, for my go, good vocabulary for London. So you've written cover letters for jobs before? No, no. For me, it's not possible because I am disability. It's not possible for my disability for working. Oh, okay. Okay. Still good to know how to write them, though. Extra writing practice. <laughs> um, Firkin, you have not written one. Um, a mock, okay. Um, a mock anything means like a practice or a fake. Like we wrote a mock resume in our resume class for what was his name, Franco Verbling, right? Mm. So it's like a fake, a fake resume, and we're just writing it to kind of get practice together with how to actually write it. So we're going to do the same thing with the cover letter. Write a fake one. Hoyan, why don't you come into class? I don't see. <laughs> and Maria? Yes, hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's my browser window. It's very slow. It's like, it's sluggish. How is it? And uh, uh, what is the question again? Um, I was Sweden. just asking if you've written a cover letter before. Yes, I have. In, in I have one in front of me right now. Uh, oh, which you I, <laughs> yeah, I just submitted one actually. Okay. I have I run a small business, but I'm sending some cover letters sometimes if I see something interesting. What language did you write it in? Pardon? What language did you write it in? Which language? <laughs> or, I couldn't hear your question. Yeah, I'm sorry. Which, which language did you write the cover letter in? In English. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, I rewrote. Oh, 
I, I have it online. I can post it if you want to see. Yeah, it. you can this put it in Google Drive if you want, and I can take a look at it if you need to look at it. Yeah, I already submitted it. Yeah. So, but I'm gonna write another one very soon. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can um, feel free to upload it if you want to, and we can take a look at it. Okay. Uh, I will try. I haven't used. I don't know how to screen share. Okay. If you click, if you go to Google Drive and then upload, I think you can just put it right. She's gone. Oh. Um, no, you can't put fake information in a resume. When you when you're writing a mock resume, a mock cover letter, a mock anything like that, um, it means it's fake, like a fake cover letter, a fake resume. Um, but you shouldn't put fake information in your resume. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> um, hi, Mariana. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. You? Good. Thanks. Where are you from? I'm from Milan, Italy. Very nice. And have you ever written a cover letter before? Yes, I I read cover letter every day because uh, I'm looking for a job. Okay. <laughs> in Italian? Uh, yes, in Italian. <laughs> cool. Um, Maria can't hear me. Did you get picked out? Okay, so um, let's talk about cover letters. Oh, and I'm Sam, uh, Samantha, I'm Canadian, and yes, I have written very many cover letters <laughs> for applying for different jobs. Um, you, you're supposed to write one for each individual job that you apply to, or at least change it a little bit for each job. Okay. So, uh, okay, all right. Okay, so this is just kind of a little blurb about what exactly cover letters are. Um, it's basically saying a cover letter usually goes with each resume you send out or accompanies each resume. Your cover letter may make the difference between obtaining a job interview and having your resume ignored. So it makes good sense to devote the necessary time and effort to writing effective cover letters. Okay. This is important. It says a cover letter should complement, not duplicate your resume. So you don't just want to put all of the exact same information in your cover letter in sentence form. That's not exactly what the purpose is. Um, the purpose is to kind of give a bit of a pers personal touch to your application um, and kind of highlight the most important parts um, about your career. So it says a cover letter is often your earliest written contact with a potential employer creating a critical first impression. So it's your first impression, your first time really being able to speak to them. So you want to make sure the grammar is perfect and your there's no spelling mistakes. You want everything to be pretty much pristine in your letter. It needs to look good so that you give a good impression. Um, effective cover letters explain the reasons for your interest in a specific organization and identify your most relevant skills or experiences. They should express a high level of interest and knowledge about the position. So while you don't necessarily want to just tell the employer how amazing they are and like, you, you're so awesome, that's not exactly the goal. You do want to show them that you understand kind of what the company's about and that you know about the job that you're applying for. Um, yes, I can upload the document. Um, you want them to kind of know that you know what you're applying for. So it's okay to kind of show off about how much information you know about the position um, and about the company, but that doesn't mean you need to kiss. Uh, oh, <laughs> Have you guys heard that expression before? You <laughs> kiss ass. It's not a very nice thing to say, um, but it, you do that a lot of the time with bosses to try to get ahead in a company. Um, it just means like you're sucking up to them. There's the suck up. Okay. Suck up to someone. Have you heard that before? To suck up to someone? No. No? If, you, if you're if you sucking up to someone or kissing ass or kissing butt 
It means that you're like, um, so say I'm in trouble at work, I did something wrong, so the next day I bring like uh, flowers and a big coffee and I'm like, oh hello boss, you look so beautiful today, look I brought you flowers, I brought you coffee, everything you asked for I'm done, I've done all my work, everything's done, but I'm going to stay for an extra three hours today because you're just so amazing, like that's... That's sucking up, right? You don't want to be in trouble, so you like really overcompensate. So you don't want your cover letter to look like that. It's not really meant to be like um, to try to suck up to get a job. That doesn't look very good. Um, you have to, yeah, exactly. You have to show how you're the right person for the job. So I just posted this to Google Drive. You can uh, hopefully see it there. Um, so there's kind of a specific <coughs> format that you want to follow with a cover letter. It depends on if it's mailed or if it's typed. A lot of the time you apply for jobs online now, um, but even if it's typed, it should follow pretty much the same format. Um, so you want your contact information, then the date, then their contact information, then you say hello. <laughs> So, dear so-and-so, if you know their name. If you don't know who you're writing to, like if you're not sure of the person's name, you can either say, dear hiring manager, um, dear, I'll type that, dear hiring manager, or you can just say, to whom it may concern. It's a very general greeting, to whom it may concern. It can sound a little bit distant, but in a cover letter, if you don't know the name of the hiring manager and there's no way for you to find it, then that's it's acceptable to do that. It's better than writing something like "Dear Sir." That's that's incorrect. Okay, don't write "Dear Sir" or "Dear Madam." That's um, it's not correct. You if you don't know their name, just put something generic rather than just saying "Sir." Okay, and then first paragraph. Um, how about Eric? Could you read this for us? The first paragraph. Yeah. The first paragraph up of your letter should include information of why you are writing. Mention the position you are applying for and where you found the job. Listen. Include the name of mutual contact if you have one. Good. A mutual Te contact. Teacher so mutual is contact is a reference? Right, so a mutual contact, um, anything that's mutual, it's um, something that you both share. So a mutual contact is someone that you both know. So this is also called name dropping. Have you heard that before? Name dropping? No. To drop a name is to try to um, say you know someone that's really, really important in this particular industry. You could name drop by saying that so-and-so told me to apply or whatever. So it's trying to um, kind of show them that you know some people in the business and kind of show off a little bit. So name dropping can kind of be a little show offy, but it can also look good for you. They want to know that you already have contacts in the industry. So if you have a mutual contact, that would, yeah, exactly. Um, that might be a good time to kind of bring it up or to show them so and so told me to apply. You wouldn't word it quite like that, but so dropping a name, mutual contact. Um, middle paragraphs. Uh, Gustavo, can you read this? Okay. Uh, middle paragraph. The next section of your cover letter should describe what you have to offer the employer. Mention specifically how your qualification match the job you are applying for. Remember, you are interpreting, interpreting, I don't know. Yep, interpreting. Yep. Okay, interpreting your resume, now repeating it. Repeating right. it. Right, so body paragraphs, kind of similar to an essay, right? Um, just one or two. You don't want this to be too long. Any more than two in the middle is going to be too much. One is one is usually good. And then your final paragraph, um, Jean-Marc, can you read this part for us? Yes, of course. Uh, conc conclude your cover letter by thanking the employer for considering you for the proposition. Include information on how 
you will follow up. Okay. I'm question. I'm question. My, my, my text is very good or no good? Is question. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, Maria, I gave you the document, but it's also on my screen. Uh, Maria, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, I feel mischievous, but it was like my browser acted up. So, but now I'm here. Okay. I'm uh, pressing. We're just looking at page two where it says final paragraph. I'm just kind of going over how to structure one of these letters. So, yeah. this is a pretty generic paragraph. It'll be say something like, thank you for considering my application. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Please contact me by email or telephone, right? So it's going to be a very generic kind of closing paragraph, usually. Um, then you can close with respectfully yours or I'm simply. sorry. Yeah. Can I chime in here? Yeah, sure. How, how do you know the employer actually is considering your... Uh, cover letter. Well, if they get to the end of your cover letter, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> they're still interested, right? <laughs> so you're kind of hoping for the best here. You want to look very confident, okay? So you can say like, "Thank you for considering my application." Okay. You okay. Can say that. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for reading my application. That is like more uncertain. Is yeah. That, you sound uncertain. Okay. This sucks. I'm wondering how it will end. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, the guy's not reading it like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm even still reading this. This is terrible. Like, I'm never going to hire this person. Hopefully, if they make it to the end of your letter, they are, you know, thinking about you at this point. Right? So, you want to look very, um, uh, very hopeful, <laughs> very confident, right? But if you say, thank you for reading my letter, um, please send me an email if you want to talk to me some more. Like, that doesn't look as strong. Please email me if you would like to give me an interview. You want to say something like, um, thank you for considering my application. Um, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Rather than, I hope you email me. That doesn't look as good, right? Please, please send me an email. I need a job. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay. So you want to show your confidence a little bit. <laughs> Isn't that what you want to hear? Like you are dying to get this job or Yeah, but you don't want to beg for it. <laughs> no, no, they, no. They don't no, want you to look not. um you don't want to come across as desperate. You want to come across as confident. Like sure, I would love to have this job um but if I don't, you know, I'm such a great person that I'm sure someone else will hire me in like 5 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to be quite that cocky, but um yeah. What did you say? You don't want to come across confidence, or what did you say? Yeah, so you want you come want to be to be confident. <laughs> um, you said come across. It. What does it mean? Um, and not cocky. I said not cocky. Co cocky. Oh, cocky okay. Cocky is like um, the overconfident, <laughs> right? Okay, okay, okay. You don't want to come across like I am the best person in the world. You're obviously going <laughs> to hire me, so I might as well just come to your office on Monday and I'll just start at eight o'clock because I mean, <laughs> is hired. you don't want it to say that in your letter. So you don't want to come across like you're just so full of yourself and so cocky. But you also don't want to be like, please, please call me. You know, I've been looking for a job for like three months and no one will hire me. <laughs> That's Could you hard. share with us in the end how you? What did you say right. to get this I'll job? Type, I'll type what I said so you can Rippling. see. Um, Rippling job. Um, I'm just typing. What was our guy's name? Franco? Franco, Franco at Berlin. Berlin. <laughs> Yeah. Professional barista. There is a potential closing paragraph. Thank you for considering my application. Please contact me by email at franco at burbling dot com or by phone at five 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 to schedule an interview. I look forward to hearing from you soon. So very neutral but confident, right? 
A bad version of this would be something like, um, thank you for reading my cover letter. Um, please, please, please send me an email. <laughs> um, uh, what did it take to get the verbling job? Um, it was an online application. So um, we had to uh, make a sample video of us teaching and then apply online. They're hiring Spanish teachers right now, too, if any of you guys are teachers and you want to teach Spanish. Um, yes. So then you sign it, right? So respectfully yours or sincerely. Um, a handwritten signature usually looks really good. So if you're printing it, you want to leave space for your signature and type your signature below. If you're handing it in online, you'll look particularly impressive if you have a scan of your signature and just put the scan JPEG there. Um, Would that be okay or not? Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. That's okay. To do that. Yeah, okay. because it will just look like it's been photocopied. Like it's, yeah. it, looks, it looks good to have a scan of your signature. Um, okay. As long as the background's the same, it's not like a gray background or something, and then it stands out. Um, if you can make it kind of work right into the document, that looks good for sure. If you want to make an animated signature, um, like yeah, I don't, I don't know how you do that. You wouldn't want to go into Paint and like try to sign it. That might look a little bit. What's this docu sign? Okay. Can I ask something? Sure. Can you use websites like DocuSign that uh, gives you opportunity to um, sign your sign on web? I don't know. I've never seen this before. DocuSign. Let me see. It's very popular. Even Kobe Bryant signed his contract within his iPad. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that would probably be fine. Mm -hmm. As long as it looks like your signature, um, as long as it's really your signature, I, I'm sure it's a pretty accurate program. So yeah, something like that would be fine. If you have an iPad, <laughs> if you don't have a tablet or anything, then um, you can go old school like me and upload a <laughs> image of your signature because I don't have an iPad. Um, yeah, so. Next thing I wanted to do is just look at maybe one or two samples, um, and then we can actually practice writing. Does anyone have any other questions so far? No. Um, if you were here for the resume class, we talked about resume power words. There's that link. You can use the same power words in your resume or in your cover letter. Um, the difference, the biggest difference between your resume and your cover letter is that your cover letter is very formal in its structure and it needs to be completely correct grammar, punctuation, full sentences, none of this fragment stuff, no bullets, okay? It's an actual letter that you're writing. So you want to show them that you know how to write, basically, and that you're not going to make silly mistakes because it looks like you haven't edited. The worst thing you can do is like hand in a cover letter with three spelling errors in it. That would be really bad. So you want to make sure, you can even get someone else to look it over for you. Um, okay, so I wanted to look at maybe one, a sample. Oops, I had one I can hear. Is that my clicking that we can hear? Well, you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's a sample, I'll give you guys the link. There's a bunch of different samples on this page, so just zoom in. Samples, so they haven't actually filled it in, but you would put all of your um, your information here. First paragraph, they're going to explain why they're writing. So, um, Firkin, can you read the first paragraph? I'm writing to express my interest in the web content specialist position listed on monster.com. I have experience building large, consumer-focused, health-based content sites. While much of my experience has been in the business world, I understand the social value of the nonprofit sector, and my business experience will be an asset to your organization. Good. So a statement like this is very confident. My experience will be an asset, right? Not maybe an asset. It will be. So you want to sound very confident like this. Um, so first paragraph, he's just introducing why he's applying, basically. Um, 
pretty brief. And then second paragraph and third paragraph. <coughs> second paragraph is the body paragraph, so it's going to give kind of some more information. Yeah, you could put shall be. <laughs> Sounds like. Uh, I, I never use shall. Shall is such a funny word, but um, it's old-fashioned to me that you could put shall. Be. Uh, Maria, do you want to read the body paragraph for us? So my responsibilities. Oh, Maria, can you? Yes, I'm sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm here. I lost her. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> uh, where is the body paragraph? Uh, uh, my responsibilities included. Can you screen share, please? <laughs> yeah. It's on my screen. Do you see it? Yeah, it's just there cannot. Nothing is happening on my computer right now. Okay. Maybe I'll I get. I see only Jean Marc. I cannot switch. Okay, I'll get Mariana to read. Um, Maria, you can listen. Um, <laughs> okay. okay. Mariana, would you like to read the body paragraph? Yes. My responsibilities included the development and management of the city's literal voice and style, the editorial calen calendar, and the daily content programming and production of the website. I worked closely with the her care professionals and medical editors to help them provide the best possible information to a consumer audience of patients. In addition, I help the uh, physicians learn to utilize their medical content to write user-friendly, readily, comprehensible test. Good. So he's trying to highlight his most important aspects about his career, right? the most important responsibilities that he has had so far. Um, and you pick out the specific things that that, ap that apply to the job that you want. Okay, so that's what he's done here. Um, here's kind of his, his closing paragraph. Um, Eric, would you like to read it? Yes. Hello, everyone. Everyone has time. Me how to boil to boil to boil strong build, build. relationship with all department. Uh, how to build strong relationship with all department and organization. I have ability to work to work you can say the next the next word teacher? Um within uh, to work within a team as well as close Team, I can work with wet engineer to resolve technical issues and implement technical enhancements. Technical enhancement. Work with development. Okay, work with the development department to implement the science and technical enhancement and monitor. Site statistics and can do share engine optimization. Perfect. Thank you for your significant consideration. Good. So um, this is kind of a lame closing, in my opinion. I think you should uh, say a little bit more than just thank you. Um, but that's okay. That's what he chose, so that's fine. Um, this is you can see throughout this, he's using a lot of power words. A lot of power words, right? Strong relationships, organization, ability, teamwork. Um, he can implement something, uh, implement design, monitor, conduct. So he's using a lot of power words, um, really powerful verbs to kind of explain his, uh, to describe his experience. So Firkin, what you said is, I'm going to found my own company instead of applying for a job. That is exactly what you want your cover letter to look like, right? You want someone to read it and be like, wow, this is really impressive. Like, this person knows what they're doing. So you can get that across with your real experience. You're not exaggerating. You're just using really strong language to explain and describe your experiences. So you're not lying. You're just expressing a very good vocabulary, and you're making yourself look really good. So that's what he's done, right? Is that um, text on the document, on the Google document you shared? 
yeah. which you just read. Is it? No, it's on a website. I gave you guys the link. Um, it's in the chat. Do you see it? No, I can't find it. the link. I it only have the Google Docs. I put the link in both chats. Um, but Is it it's in the beginning of the chat. I just pasted it again, so it should be really? there right now. Okay, thank you. Um, it's just a sample, a sample cover letter. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different samples. If you go back to this cover letter sample, if you need other ideas, there's a pretty big list there of samples. Um, we're only going to look at one because we want to actually get practice writing our own. So, does anyone have any questions so far? Any other questions? No? Okay. Let's let's start uh, writing one together. So I'm going to upload another document so you guys can kind of see as we're editing. Here it is. We'll just write, I'm writing to apply for this job. So yeah, that's right. Pardon? That? Yeah, can, why can't you just write, um, I'm writing to apply to this job. I'm writing to, you can put I'm writing to apply for, and then you want to actually say what the job is, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so. Yeah. But that's fine. So he's just written it in a different way. Express his interest in the position. Um, it's just using different vocabulary, trying to make it not sound too standard. Um, let me give you guys. Uh, can I ask a question? Yes. Uh, when you say I apply a job, you are trying to get in the job. But when you get applied, or is there a word like get applied to job? You can say I applied for. Once you've yeah, already put your application in. Okay. What can you say when you get the job? Hired. But they hired you. I've been hired. I got something. hired. I've been hired. Okay. Or you can just say, I got the job. I got the job. If you're telling your friends, you'll probably say, yeah, I got the job. You'll go, yeah, I've been hired. That doesn't <laughs> sound right. So you'd be, just be excited and just say, I got the job. You can say that. Um, it's not working for me in Google Drive. Do you guys see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna backspace all of this. Richard, you can put uh, Google Drive again the documents. Yes. So, do you see the second document on Google Drive? Yeah. And I'm gonna share it on my screen as well. Actually. No, I'm not. I'm just going to do it in Google Drive. I can't find the link for this document, though. I wanted to share it. Sometimes on Google Drive, when I upload documents, I can't find the link. Very strange. Um, there it is. Okay. So. Oops, I clicked camera. Here we go. So, our sample cover letter. And I've just copied and pasted the cover letter format, except now we're going to fill it in with our information. So we already know that our name is Franco Verbling, right? <laughs> so this is the cover letter to go along with our um, resume that we wrote in the last class. So Franco Verbling, do you remember what job he wanted? Barista. Yeah, so he wanted to be a manager at some sort of coffee shop, right? So head barista. <laughs> um, so this is the job that he's applying for in this cover letter. Okay, His address, um, 123 Burbling Street. <laughs> okay, I don't know. There's his phone number. Franco at verbling.com. Okay, um, so here's your information. Then you want to put the date. What day is it today? Uh, okay, and then their information. So, company, um, what's the name of the coffee shop? Lion and Furkin. He has already been working there. 
Oh yeah, he needs a new one. Oh. Um. <laughs> we'll just make something up. Something coffee happening. makers. Coffee makers. Coffee makers. Ink. It's boring. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, uh, our person's name is I don't know. Um, George. Uh, no, P, uh, you, 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 uh, someone's that. Yes. Uh, someone's that. You, 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 you name. Pardon? They are dedicated. <laughs> they are dedicated themselves to coffee job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's our address. Um, so he, he's applying for a job. Um, he's writing this letter to George Caffeine, the manager of Coffee Makers Inc. Okay, so um, yes, this is obviously fake. <laughs> um, okay, bye, Gustavo. So, next thing we need is our salutation or our hello. So you have a choice here. You can either say, Dear Mr. Caffeine, right? Or you can say, To whom it may concern. So in this case, because we actually know the guy's name, um, who we're writing the letter to, you want to put, Dear Mr. Caffeine. If you don't have the name, what do you write? If you write don't have instead? the name, then this is how it would look. There would be no name here. You would just write where the letter's going. And then you mm -hmm. could put to whom it may concern. Or you can put your hiring manager like this. Why can't you just start with um, the title of the job? Like underlined. Oh, like this? Re. Um, yeah, but we're without the re. Yeah. Well, the re means regarding. Yeah, I know. But so that's okay. If you could have it like this, and then just write your letter. You mean? Mm, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's nice. You could do that. That's a possible. And then the company name: CEO Barista at blah 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 company. In capitals, like this. Or just uh, write it. Small letters, lowercase. Yeah, it's a possibility to have that. Um, personally, I think it's it's a little bit more. Um, let me go. I lost his name now. <laughs> it's a little bit more personal to actually write "dear so and so." Um, yeah, but, but in most cases, I don't think you don't have the name. Yeah. So if you don't have the name, then that's fine. It's up to you. Um, you if can you have an email address and it, the email address states "sales uh, department" or something. Yeah. Uh, and in that case, you would probably <laughs> stick with the "to whom it may concern." Or you can do what you've said, Maria, and just put the job title with an underline. Um, I like to address it to someone, uh, yeah. but it's up to you. And the re, if you want to put the re, it just means regarding. So if you're putting re and then like CEO barista position or something. Um, or if you're applying specifically, like if you're on um, Monster or one of the other job banks online, they actually put the title of the job and then they've given it a code usually like there's a number to go with the job like it's job number four, like F or whatever job number 8237 that's the number of the posting so in that case you might want to actually put re um, 8237 CEO position or something yeah so look at a reference number so do that R E F R I F what is that R I F. What is that? Um, like a reference number, Mariana? Yeah. R E F. Yeah. Is, is the same of the uh, yeah. R E.